Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to address a pretty hot topic throughout the entire community, throughout the industry that not a whole lot of people talk about. And that's going to be cybersecurity salaries and the lifestyle that you can expect from a cybersecurity job. And recently I've been seeing a lot of posts on social media from Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, uh, really hyping up and over inflating the cybersecurity lifestyle and really what you can expect from a cybersecurity career. So in this video, I wanted to address some of the misconceptions conceptions of cybersecurity careers and salaries and really the reality of working in cybersecurity. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Ben and I make videos documenting my entire journey throughout cybersecurity. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and subscribe and like the video. But also if you want some more short form content and personal content, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at cyberwithben. So let's start off by talking about some of the expectations when it comes to cybersecurity salaries. A lot of gurus and people online promise you that you'll get a six-figure job immediately when you break into cybersecurity, but for most cases, that is not going to happen. There's so many different factors that come to play when it comes to determining cybersecurity salary, and I'll go ahead and talk about them right now. So the first thing on the list is going to be the location of the job that you're applying for. When it comes to any job in any industry, a lot of times the location of the job is is going to heavily impact the amount of money that you're going to be expected to make for taking this job. If the job is based somewhere where it's really expensive to live and has a high cost of living, you're going to get paid more and compensated for that compared to a job that's based in the middle of nowhere and has really low living expenses. An example of this is comparing jobs that are based in New York City or even Northern Virginia where I'm from compared to a role maybe in the Midwest like Nebraska or Kansas. These jobs are not going to pay as much. The jobs based out in the Midwest and lower cost of living areas are not going to pay as much as the ones that are based out in big cities and more expensive high cost of living areas. And on top of that, salaries also depend on the country that you're living in. Some countries have a higher cost of living than others. Some countries value cybersecurity higher than others and pay cybersecurity professionals more than others. So these are some things that you need to consider when looking to apply for jobs in certain locations. If you're thinking about getting a degree in cybersecurity, I've got some exciting news about today's video sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University. SNHU is one of the largest accredited nonprofit online universities in the country. Their tuition rates are among the lowest, making it a great option for affordable education. Plus, they've been recognized as one of the most innovative universities by the US News and World Report. SNHU cybersecurity program will cover all of the high demand skills you need in the industry. You'll learn how to tackle complex cybersecurity problems using systems and adversarial thinking. You'll understand hacker tactics and respond to real-time incidents. You'll learn how to assess systems for risks and threats, and also learn how to make informed decisions based on legal and ethical principles. You can choose a general cybersecurity track or specialize in data analytics fundamentals or project management fundamentals. It's a well-rounded education that sets you up for your first role in cybersecurity. Check out snhu.edu slash benstrong. I'll leave a link in the description below to see the average annual salary for cyber security professionals and also to request free information about their cybersecurity program. Thank you to SNHU for sponsoring today's video. The second factor to consider is understanding what industry the company that you're applying for is based in. So for example, if you're working for a bank, if you're working in a finance company, if you're working for a telecommunications company, these sort of differences in size and also the industry itself may also play a factor in determining what kind of compensation you'll get for a cybersecurity job. A lot of times companies in different industries value cybersecurity at different levels. Also the size of the company determines how much of a budget they have for the cybersecurity professionals. These are also some things that come into play when determining your salary. Also your experience and also your certifications are going to play a big role when determining how much money you're going to get for taking a job. So for example, if you're someone who has years of experience working in cybersecurity, you're probably going to get more compensated compared to someone who is brand new to the industry with no experience. So let's talk about some of these salaries that you should actually expect when looking to break into your first entry level job in cybersecurity. So according to recent data, entry-level cybersecurity jobs in the United States typically range anywhere from $60,000 a year to $80,000 a year. More specifically, cybersecurity analyst jobs average at around $70,000 per year for entry-level jobs. In other parts of the world like Europe or Asia, the salaries range anywhere from 40,000 to 60,000 euros a year. Once you get more experience in cybersecurity and you get more mid-level and senior level roles, these salaries range from anywhere between 90,000 to 120,000 
$100,000 per year. Senior level roles start off at anywhere between $130,000 and up. And also C-suite level roles like Chief Information Security Officer roles, they range anywhere from $250,000 and up. And when I mentioned these salaries, these are going to differentiate and fluctuate depending on the location, like I said before. So think about tech hubs like New York, San Francisco, and Washington, DC. So these tech hubs have a lot of companies headquartered in these areas. So there's going to be a lot of demand for cybersecurity professionals. It's going to be really competitive. Therefore, you're probably going to get highly compensated. And also, it's going to be a pretty expensive place to live. So now that we've talked about some of the salary expectations for entry-level jobs in cybersecurity, let's talk about some of the career progression and one of the bonuses of working in cybersecurity. So one of the main benefits of working in cybersecurity when it comes to salary is going to be the ability to progress your salary and increase it over time. Most cybersecurity professionals can expect anywhere from 3 to 5% annual raises when it comes to their salary every single year. On top of that, when you earn advanced level certifications and also continue to develop your skills and perform at a high level, there's going to be a high chance that you get promotions and continue to increase your salary over time. Cybersecurity salaries can quickly increase over time compared to other industries. So that's going to be one of the main benefits of working in tech and cybersecurity as well. On average, cybersecurity professionals see a 20 to 30% increase in their salary when they jump from their entry level job to a mid-level role after gaining around three to five years of working experience. One of the other things to consider is that cybersecurity professionals in high demand industries like finance or banking healthcare, governments, and high demand sectors are really going to be the ones that also get compensated fairly well. The roles in these industries typically command higher salaries and high demand because of the critical nature of cybersecurity in these different fields. On top of that, cybersecurity professionals with high skill in niche areas like AI security, blockchain security, and cloud security, these people with specialized skills can also see an accelerated growth when it comes to their salaries over the years. So if you're someone who is looking to break into cyber security, being someone who is able to continue to develop their skills over time throughout their entire career and staying up to date with the latest technology and trends, it's going to be so important for you as a cybersecurity professional to continue to learn these different things in order to continue to advance and increase your salary over time. So now that we've talked about some of the salary expectations and also some of the things that impact salary, let's talk about the lifestyle that you should expect when working in cybersecurity. So there's so many different roles in cybersecurity and a lot of times these roles are going to have a different sort of work-life balance and expectations and demand when it comes to day-to-day -day tasks. So for example, if you're someone who is working in the SOC and continuously has to deal with incidents and maybe be on call, that's going to be much more of a different lifestyle than compared to someone who is working in maybe consulting or GRC or things of that sort. This is going to heavily impact your day-to-day -day and your work-life balance and the sort of skills that you need to continue to develop even outside of work. So when it comes to your lifestyle when working in cybersecurity, that is going to be something that is dictated towards you, what kind of role you want, and also what kind of lifestyle that you want from your cybersecurity career. If you're someone who absolutely loves cybersecurity and really enjoys doing it, maybe consider doing more technical roles like penetration testing, maybe being on the blue team like the SOC, threat hunting, things of that sort that you really enjoy doing and you don't mind doing outside of work and continuing to upskill. If you're someone who is passionate about business and strategy and maybe want to understand more about the overall security posture of an organization, maybe roles like GRC or consulting is going to be a better fit for you. Cybersecurity can be a pretty demanding role at times. Sometimes you can be on call. So if an incident occurs at any time, be ready to go ahead and start working. Depending on what role you choose in cybersecurity, you might be expected to continue to develop your skills even outside of work hours and continue to learn more about different technologies, whether it be maybe learning a new platform or a tool or also learning a new language. Overall, I hope this video gave you guys some better insights and a look into what it's like to actually work in cybersecurity and what to expect when it comes to salaries and pay in a cybersecurity career. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're on our way to 50,000 subscribers. Also, if you want some more short form content and lifestyle content, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at CyberWithBen. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.